Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only 96.5 The Mountains. Countdown to the Grammys. The nominees are Countdown to the Grammys. Exclusively with WDEF News 12. And the Grammy goes to... So here at Brown on the red carpet, you can see this is just absolutely amazing right here. There are just celebrities in the line. We just walked past Katy Perry, Adam Lambert, the Wayne Drake. We're just lined up and down here, just trying to get into the ceremony. Right Ooh, we're live on the red carpet. What a show! We were directly outside the Staples Center, and it was incredible. Lady Gaga got shunned, totally shut out. I think her diamond-studded chicken suit is probably one of the reasons why. Um, big winner, Beyonce, two awards, album of the year, Taylor Swift. She was so happy and cheerful. Her family's going to be telling that story for years how she won the award tonight. Yawn. Basically, the biggest bore of the night, unfortunately, was Taylor Swift and uh, Stevie Nicks. They couldn't find anybody better besides Stevie Nicks to perform with her. Zach Brown kind of boring it. Me personally, didn't like Dave Matthews, but I love the Drake, Eminem, and Lil Wayne. That's my take. Brad, what do you have to say about oh. the Grammy? I'm just going to sit here and look dreamy. And cut. Thanks. <laughs> Here's what I thought was the most uh, interesting thing about uh, the Grammys. It's, it's a TV show at the end of the day, right? All right, Sean? Absolutely. So when they go to commercial break, it's complete pandemonium. Through for the better part of five minutes, right? And you get to see everybody interacting with each other. You see, like, uh, the Taylor Swift and Rihanna. They were best friends. All they did was chit chat all night, right? And you see Lady Gaga walk in. She, Lady Gaga might have been there for about 20 minutes of the entire show. The only time he, she was there was when she was nominated. She had that big, glittery chicken suit. Actually, walking down the red carpet is unlike anything I've ever seen before. We were literally walking hand in hand, basically, with Weird Al Yankovic and Pat Oswalt, Grammy nominees, and you know, we're right there amongst them all. It was amazing. Now, on to the after parties. Yeah, this is gonna be good. <laughs> we might see one of those. <laughs> <laughs> hey, should we go ahead and find a spot here? Should we just get in now? <laughs> hey, it's your boy Stokes with your man Sean Stewart, one of the tightest DJs in the South, baby. Even though he's from the North, we love him anyway because he makes them shake their grits and make gravy down in Chattanooga. Take your DOD the mountain, baby. We're heading to the party um, on Hollywood. What is it? Hollywood in Argyle. We're going to the EMI party right now. Do this. I just got an invite to uh, the Kings of Leon. My boys from Nashville are throwing a very, very private thing later tonight, so we're going to try to make it over there too. But um, all my peeps in Chattanooga, hey, Sean told me that y'all were voting for Gravy. I really appreciate it. The Mountain Baby rocking in L.A. <laughs> Hey. Hi. Um, if, you look, if you look right down there past the ice bar, that's Cypress Hill and Slash. The guy from Cypress Hill is wearing the white hat. They're all kind of sitting down there. You can't see Slash just happening there. This is what an after party looks like. That bar is made entirely of ice. Can I wear your fedora for a second? Yeah, baby. <laughs> I really want to get the L.A. look. I think I got it, right? <laughs> It's your new best friend. Yeah. Uh, That's because we have the same stylist. You guys do. You guys look, uh... Run, Z. 